What's up guys? Happy Tuesday. Today we are going to be drawing a bird and this kind of bird here is called a loon. It's a bird that we don't see too much around here in Wisconsin but they live up north and they're a really interesting bird. I know they look really strange. They have all these spots. They do have bright red eyes in real life. And today I just want to show off my loon earrings that I have. I'm all dressed up for our video. So the loon. Um, the reason I chose the loon is because I told you guys I kind of want to do something spring themed and I was thinking of animals and plants and flowers. And the loon is just a really cool bird that actually a lot of people don't know about. So the loon, I'm going to put a picture right here. The loon is a type of bird that is amazing at swimming. They kind of look like a duck, but they're not a duck. They're really good at swimming, really good at diving, but they actually can't walk on land. They just kind of scoot around on their bellies because their legs don't work very well to walk on land. They also have a very special call that sounds like this. It's kind of weird, right? So they have their own really special call that's really loud. You can hear it from super far away. Their red eyes actually are gray during the colder months and turn back to red during the warmer months. And there's also a festival in Wisconsin, in Mercer, Wisconsin, every single year called the Loon Festival where people just hang out and celebrate how cool loons are and there's all sorts of contests and things like that. It's pretty cool. So there's some facts for you about loons. I'm sure today you were thinking, huh, I want to learn more about the common loon. That's the kind of one that we are drawing today. So now you got all the facts. So for our drawing today, I actually don't recommend you start with pencil. I recommend that you start right away with your coloring supplies and you will obviously need black. A black marker is going to probably be a little easier, but a black crayon or a black color pencil will work too. It'll probably just take you longer to color in. So go ahead, get your paper, get your coloring stuff, and let's get started. All right, guys, so we are going to go ahead and get started drawing our loon. And because our loon is actually mostly black with a lot of small designs, we're going to kind of draw those designs in a, kind of a unique way and color it a little different than how you're probably used to coloring stuff in. So just follow with me for the steps and it's going to be fun, guys. It's, it's actually a lot easier than it looks. So take your black marker, black crayon, or whatever, and we are going to start by drawing our loon's beak. You want to draw it um, a little bit down from the top with a little space above. And we are going to start by drawing a line that angles up like this and then back down. It's longer on this side and shorter on this side. After you draw this angle, we are going to draw the bottom part of the beak. So down here, do another angle line. See, it's kind of like the opposite of this one. It's just as long too. And then you can make another angle line that goes all the way back and meets that one. To finish off the beak to make it look a little bit more like real life, we're gonna make a straight line that goes from one point to the other point, and then a little line for a nostril. Birds have nostrils too. They just don't look quite like ours because they don't have noses. That would be super weird. Now, we are going to make the eye, so move away from the beak a little bit, draw yourself a circle, and because our loon is all black, we're not just going to color in the eye all black, plus they have those crazy red eyes that we want to show. Inside the circle, you can draw a curved line like this, make sure you leave a little space that you can color in red, and we're going to draw a nice white circle and another white circle, and then fill that in. So give it kind of a cute little cartoon eye. Also, I just want to say I'm sorry if you hear a bunch of noise in the background. I don't know if you will. There are people working outside and it's super loud. <laughs> okay, so after you have the eye and the beak, what we're going to do is work on the shape for the head. So right here on this top point of the beak, 
I am going to draw a line that angles like this and kind of stops right above the eye. Then it's going to curve over and down. And we'll stop right about there. Okay, so that's for the neck. Maybe a little bit further, there we go. Right here, the bottom point, we are going to draw a line that kind of goes this way and then stops again right below that eye. And then a line that kind of curves out like that. So we have the head and a little bit of the neck. Now I'm going to continue this line. I'm going to have it curve out even more and then go back in. I'm going to smooth it out. There we go. And then for the back, I'm going to draw a line that curves up and then down pretty fast until this line is kind of in line with this one. See, it looks like they could just connect, which is what we're going to do next. Gonna make a line that connects all the way to this one and it didn't quite make it so I'm just gonna whoop, there we go do that okay so we got the shape for our loom this is actually a pretty quick drawing in terms of the shapes for the animal but now we're going to be making all of the little shapes for the designs like the little spots and stripes and things because there's a lot going on so to start with the neck, we're going to go right here where the neck and the back connect. We're going to make a line that goes down and then over like that. And right here where like the chin connects with the neck, we're going to make a little triangle shape like that. And we'll make another one on this side that kind of angles down. So we got two. <laughs> Sorry for the noise. I'm sure you can hear that. It's so loud, but I can't do anything about it. Sorry. All right. So we got these two triangles here. What we are going to do is you are going to draw some stripes inside. Stripes like this. They can be thin stripes. You can make some a little bit thicker if you want to. And that's all we're going to do for now. We are just going to draw little stripes inside the triangle and leave it like that. I know it looks kind of weird right now, but we're going to, you'll see, it makes sense later. All right, now for the back, below this line, a little bit below, we are going to make a line that curves just like the back and then connects like there, somewhere like there, not all the way down here. It just kind of curves like the back, but then connects now, starting from this new line we just made, you are going to make little kind of curved triangle shaped stripe lines. So it's a curved line and another curved line, curved line, curved line. They can be different lengths, some can be long, some can be short, some can be um, a little bit different shape. And now this part that we're going to do, you got to kind of really pay attention to what you're doing basically because it's easy for your brain to get confused. So I'm looking at this stripe here and I'm going to draw this, this stripe on this side of the line that we made, this long line, but I want on this side for the stripe to angle the other way. So here they angle this way, like they curve this way, and on this side I want them to curve like up kind of. So it looks like this is going to be one wing and that's the other wing and it kind of makes it look a little bit more 3D. If you can't quite get the angle right, it's okay you guys. It just won't look as 3D but people will still know what it is. Now just like on these stripes here, we're going to add stripes on this one too. And I'm going to go a little bit quicker but take your time. If you want to make some of the lines thicker, thinner, whatever, different lengths, it's totally okay. Also your spots do not need to be the same size. I just want to get some stripes in there. Okay. Now the one part that to me was a little tricky was this part here where it kind of looks like the black is fading into the white. What you want to do is start kind of near where the chest is and near the bottom and you're going to draw more of those kind of stripey shapes but basically just uh, make them different lengths. So long, short, long, short. And when you get close to like here where things are starting to kind of squish together, 
just make one line that connects all the way back up to the neck. So you'll have a section that's white, okay? Um, don't worry too much about this part looking exactly the same as mine. You just kind of want like a zigzaggy type line and that's it. All right, oh, I forgot one more thing, our spots. I like to draw them before I start coloring. It just makes it easier. Loons are covered in spots. They have tons of them. They're actually really small, but to make our, it easier for ourselves, we're gonna go ahead and make those lines, or not lines, those circles a little bit bigger. So, there we go. Now, if you wanna stop here, that's fine. I like to add a little line for water underneath. So it looks like he's floating on the water. And then on this one, I did add some mountains in the back with some pine trees. So if you want to do that, you can add kind of like a wiggly line that goes up and back down and like up and like down, blah, blah, blah. If you want to draw pine trees, you want to make sure that they look like they're far away. So we draw them pretty small. Two lines for the trunk and then two straight lines out like that. And then you kind of do like a zigzag I like to do one, two, three, and then after the third one, I just go all the way up so I make a point on top. So two lines, two straight lines, and then one, two, three, one, two, three. There we go. So if you want to add palm, or not palm trees, pine trees. I can't talk today, guys. I'm messing up my words. If you want to draw, draw your pine trees, go for it. And I'm going to stop after this. You can, of course, you can draw sun, you can draw moon. Loons actually like to come out at nighttime, so a moon could look nice, but it's totally up to you. Now, we are going to start coloring. So, of course, the first thing I am going to do is I am going to get my red marker, and I'm going to color in that really cool red eye, just because I think it looks so nice. And then I'm going to get my black marker and I am going to start coloring. Now the loon, the, the beak is black, the head is black, the body is black. So we have to color in a lot of black. If I color this all in with black, all the lines we made inside will go away. So what I like to do, you guys, is I like to kind of go close to my outline for where the two pieces touch and I leave a little white, and then I fill in below, and it'll make more sense when you fill it in. Then when I color in up here, and I'm filling this top part in, when I get close to that nostril, I make a little oval around it, and I just don't color over that nostril. And then you can still see the lines. It almost kind of looks like they have this nice shine to it, which is cool. When you start coloring in the head and the body and all that, basically what you are doing is you're gonna color it all black and then go up to those shapes that we drew with the lines through them, and you are just going to fill it all in completely with black. And what'll end up happening is you'll get all those little shapes that loons have without you having to have, without you having to have sit there and just draw every single shape individually. We kind of did it a little bit of an easier way. So go ahead and start filling in the neck and the head and I will talk about the next part when I'm done with this one. When you get to where the head and the beak are touching I like to add another little white outline like that and then I keep filling it in. Alright guys, so when we get to this part, we're gonna, again, you gotta kinda pay attention to what you're doing, it's easy to color the wrong thing, but I'm gonna basically color in between all of the stripes I made with the smaller stripes inside. So color that in. And um, one thing that helps me when I go around my circles is to actually go to them before I start coloring everything in and kind of make a thicker outline around each of them. That way, when I'm coloring up next to them, I don't have to take so much time. I can go a little faster. So I'm gonna quick do this before I go on.
All right, so I made the outlines around all my circles bigger, so it's going to make coloring a little easier. Now I'm gonna continue coloring between my stripes with the lines in them, and also being careful not to color over my little white circles that I made. And I'm just gonna keep going until I fill in the whole thing with black. All right guys, my hand is like cramped up. That was a lot of work. Now, once you finish coloring in all the black, well then if you did any stuff in the background, you gotta color that stuff in too. But um, good job you guys, that was a lot of hard work to color all that in actually. But it looks really cool when it's done. And uh, just have fun coloring in the rest. And make sure you guys send me pictures of this one because I would love to see it. All right guys, I hope that you had fun drawing your loon with me today. It was kind of an interesting one with the way that we colored it in. And I hope you had fun learning about the loon. I love animals and I love learning about different animals. So if we do a project about animals, I'll probably just be telling you facts about them because I think it's fun. Um, I will see you guys tomorrow for another video. Bye.